Thomas Stallworth. That was in Pasadena as John Stallworth helped the 79 Steelers to get another title. Then on the same field last year, cousin Tim Stallworth caught this 81-yarder to lead Washington State to a victory over then number one UCLA. Some said it may have been the Cougars' biggest win in 50 years. Just a year later, quarterback Tim Rosenbaum, the one-time Heisman favorite for this season, became a Cardinal, pitching in the desert in the NFL with Phoenix. Then came the headlines signaling the departure of one of America's greatest young coaches. Dennis Erickson pulled out of Pullman and headed for Miami. Fans now hope the price was right for their new coach named Mike, and certainly his new quarterback, Junior Brad Gossin, has shown that he, much like his predecessor, can find stalwart, as he did last week for touchdowns. Tonight, he and his teammate meet a different breed of cat, the Cougars of BYU. Lavelle Edwards hopes that his string of great quarterbacks continues with sophomore starter Ty Detmer leading the explosive offense. But Brigham Young is 1-0 because of their defense. Last week while trailing New Mexico, Brian Mitchell's 97-yard interception return, key to comeback victory for the Cougars. It all began in 79 for those of us here at ESPN. Tonight we celebrate our birthday with a catfight of college football. for college football here in Provo sunny 82 degrees humidity at only 20 percent and no chance of rain here in scenic Provo BYU will kick off and there's Earl Kaufman to handle the duties out of Universal City Texas and back deep for Washington State Steve Broussard number 31 at the top of your screen and Desmond Clayton at the lower portion of your screen. birthday celebration is on and it's Broussard it is one we got to see him and he's out to the 31 yard line a 30 yard return for Broussard and here comes Washington State and they are led by Brad Gossin out of Westlake Village California and behind him Steve Broussard a lone setback watch for him and of course Stallworth he could line up almost any place on the field the wide receivers are Griggs and Young and they're both young ones up front, it's Husby and Garman, and then the guard, Smith and Cromer. The center is a youngster, Paul Wolf, that they're very high on. From the 32 yard line, it's first and 10 for Washington State. They're out in trips and no back. Very quickly, Robinson comes on the blitz, and they sack him a couple of yards back. There's Paul Wolf, the center we were mentioning just a moment ago for. The Cougars of Washington State, he may be one of their better offensive linemen. And Doug Wellsand is the tight end. They'll utilize the twin tight end look with both he and Rod Olson a great deal of the evening. Mike Smith coming off the playing field, injured on the opening play. And we'll check his status as soon as we get official word from downstairs. Officially a loss of three on the sack as Robinson came from the backside. And it's second down 13 for Washington State. Counter, and there's Broussard. Boy, he can cut in a hurry up to the 35 yard line. And it'll be third and seven when we come back. Defensively, BYU looks this way. The nose guard is Tim Adams out of Cimarron, Kansas. He's flanked by Rich Kafusi. And Buddy Orr, Kafusi the rusher, Chad Robinson and Dwayne Johnson to the linebackers. And of course, the two that look so much alike defensively are Davis and Beagle. Watch for both of them blitzing. Now, this is the question mark. Ferguson and Mitchell. Mitchell may be the best. Norman Dixon, just his second start tonight, and Troy Fuller make up the BYU perimeter. Third down and six yards to go officially. Looks like a checkoff. Gossin for Stallworth. Watch out. 
No one will catch him. Touchdown. Not a bad audible by Gossin in this his second start as Washington State's quarterback. 64 yards the strike and the Cougars that are on the road strike first. Well that's what they say that he does best. Number 12 Gossin reads the defense reads it well check at the line saw the man coverage and then let the ball down the middle to stalwart number two Boy, Gossin, big playmaker you mentioned coming out of Rosenbaugh's regime he has done well hasn't he finding stalwart this is the second week in a row he's connected with Tim for a touchdown Jason Hansen for the point after The sophomore from Spokane puts it through, and Washington State, in a hurry, takes the seven to nothing lead. And we talked about this before coming in with both coaches. The question mark, the defensive backs for BYU, and certainly they took advantage. This Washington State team in the opening right drive. down the middle, and uh, Gossin, who last year had over 18 uh, yards and average, goes right by number 42 Troy Fuller, and uh, he's got very deceiving speed. He runs right by you before you know it, and that is one of the key uh, why he uh, has so many big plays. And the linebackers were coming. They Vince. were coming, so they read the defense. The free safety should have had to play, but he went right by him with that smooth, smooth speed. Uh, Stallworth, great big playmaker. And what a big confidence builder this is for the uh, Washington State team. Take a look now at the reaction of Gossin. <laughs> <laughs> That'll get your confidence up in a hurry. And that doesn't need to be up because he's had confidence. You That's bet. what they like about it. So Washington State with only a minute and a half off the clock connects as Stallworth, who by the way is the second cousin of John Stallworth. We showed you in our opening and he's never talked or met with John Stallworth. And John said if he keeps playing like this he may be my first cousin. Three plays 68 yards a minute 39 off the clock Stallworth with the 64 yard touchdown pass from Gossip. John ought to call the order claiming first cousin right now <laughs> after that. John is living in the Huntsville Alabama area. And the boot to Crutchfield Tony Crutchfield a yard deep and here he comes number 24 in blue. Just shy of the 20 at the 18 yard line. Well, we told you they'd move up and down the field. It's now Ty Detmer's turn out of San Antonio, Texas. Behind him will be Matt Bellini. He'll be used as a receiver a great deal. Fred Whittingham is his tough runner. Matt Odell is his leading receiver. Jeff Franzen is a youngster he'll go to. Now up front, Brian May and Neil Ford are the tackles. The guards, Muhammad Elowanibi. He may be their best. Robert Stevens out of La Mirada, California, the center, and Chris Smith, the tight end. And they love to go over the middle to him on third down situations. First and ten BYU. And no huddle. He now quick lined up. There's a trap option. Bellini up to the 20 yard line. A gain of two, and that's all. And Chris Moton made the stop. Washington State is up with the round. Tim Tony the, the Savage is the tackle. The linebackers, Phil Garabedian, uh, Garabedian, along with Dan Grayson, the outside backers. Mark Ledbetter is the middle linebacker. Ron Ricard, Roosevelt, no Noble are the corners. And the secondary closes out with Moton and Biggs. Second and eight. Pressure from the backside in the form of Marlon Brown. Back at the 15-yard line as Detmer goes down. Marlon Brown, probably one of the most active players on the team. Certainly the rah-rah the kind of player that stays with you. He, he ran all the way around the block and then came back inside. Kept at it. You'll see him right from the backside and almost caused the fumble. Marlon Brown. Well, he's an emotional player. Watch for him. He's also a rapper. He loves to sing the rap tunes for this Washington State defense. Third and 18. Play fake. Detmer running out of room. Gets away from Brown and off he goes with room. 
It's nearly a first down. It may be. They mark it at the 29. It is a BYU first down. 19 yards for Todd Dutton. Oh, tremendous block by um, Matt Odell. This is just an excellent job because he could have very easily been sacked on this particular play. I don't know how he got out of it, out of Brown's reach, but he comes down the field. Then he knows where the flag is. And he goes for it, gets the block right there by Odell, and then steps out of bounds for the first down. Who says wide receivers can't block? That's why they say it's going to be an excellent quarterback. On first down, Bellini on the out pattern. I beg your pardon, Franzen, Jeff Franzen, number 87, the split end, incomplete. Number 75, Savage, and he stays with it, but number 76 does an excellent job. Neil Fort, who is a senior, and he, spray, he was able to spring the quarterback. He rushed from the outside, and Neil Fort, who is experienced, big, big uh, offensive center, did an excellent job on Savage, which is a big key. Second down, 10. Winningham, the up back, running very quickly right into the arms of number 50, Dan Grayson, the weak side linebacker, along with Mark Ledbetter. Ledbetter, a converted down lineman, and Whittingham always gets the tough yards. There's Ledbetter. Now he has scaled his weight down to become a linebacker. They always try to put extra meat on him because he was a down lineman under Dennis Erickson. But he's going to also be down. You're going to see him occasionally jump up into the line of scrimmage and go down. Third down seven. <laughs> Detmer with time. Bellini! <laughs> couldn't stay with Matt Bellini. And there's his versatility, Vince. 42 yards. Matt Bellini, number eight, excellent runner and pass receiver at about, and here's uh, Dittmer right here coming back. And what a nice touch he has on the football, putting the ball to Bellini. And there again, right down the middle of that zone. Detmer looks, finds his man Boyce. Andy Boyce to the one. What is that we said about up and down the field? Yeah, going up and down the field. Faster than we anticipated going up and down the field. Again, once again, he's got an excellent job of picking out the right receiver, Boyce. And uh, Boyce goes down for the goal line and makes it to the one. Number 22, John Diggs makes the tackle. 27 yards and it's first and goal. BYU down seven nothing. We're not even five minutes deep in the first quarter. That Carly at tailback with a deep back. He's the jump jumper. He's gonna jump here, but he didn't get off the runway. Just shy of the end zone. And I get a good job by the Washington State defense piercing through. There's Lavelle Edwards, one of the fine gentlemen in this game. Ten WAC titles. Actually, 11, 10 of them coming in a row in succession here. And he's had so many 9 and 10 win seasons, they've almost taken him for granted here the last few years. As a matter of fact, just winning 9 the last mm. couple of years isn't quite good enough. <laughs> Not winning the WAC titles after you've won so many in succession. They get a bit spoiled. And they have here in Pro Bowl. Second and goal. Bellini on the pitch. Washington State defense was there to answer. Boy, they did a nice job of spreading that play out. And credit Tony Savage. And he's got nice speed for a guy that big, almost 300 pounds. He and Ledbetter combined. Savage and Grayson. That's a pick, uh, quick pitch out. And uh, Bellini tries to cut back in, but you'll see Savage uh, come in along with Ledbetter to make the play. It's about a foot. Third down.
Casey Carley is the elite man, and he does a great job here of getting off the runway, getting airborne, L.I. Herschel Walker. Mm -hmm. Sort of a Sam Bam Cunningham move <laughs> he here. He started it, yeah. Good height, and then he got his body parallel. Mm -hmm. You don't want to just go up. You've got to get your body parallel to go over. Well, you remember Herschel with Dooley's dogs and Sam Bam Cunningham at USC with that play. Stacy Corley has tied it up here in Provo. Hear that? It's your comeback calling. It starts with cash in your account as soon as tomorrow. We're Rise, a better way to borrow the cash you need. We believe in rates that actually go down over time. We believe that's the chance you need to get ahead and stay ahead. Start your comeback today. Visit risecredit.com. This is a national health care alert from the Health Hotline. If you, a family member, or a loved one suffers from knee pain and have Medicare as your primary insurance, we've got great news. You could qualify for a pain-relieving knee brace at little or no cost to you. Get free delivery, and all the paperwork is handled by our accredited suppliers at no charge to you. We also have other pain-relieving braces available for shoulder, ankle, and your back. Call the number on your screen right now to immediately receive a pain-relieving brace at little or no cost. Are you having problems with the IRS? Liens and levies, garnishments, seizures, penalties. Are you being audited? Our trained professionals at Wallen Associates can help. We've helped thousands of individuals and businesses solve their tax problems and save big money. Put a wall between you and the IRS. Wallen Associates has over 30 years of experience dealing with the IRS, and we can help your family or your business. Call 800-360-9336. We solve tax problems. Every day, bring something new at Hotlook.com. And no matter what day of the week, we've got you covered. Check out the latest looks at the touch of your fingertips and get it all delivered right to your door. Find the right style for any situation at Hotlook. Usedsell.com. You can sell your used iPhone, Android, or other smartphone for $100, $200, up to $350 in cash right now. All makes, all models, even broken phones. And getting cash for your phone is as easy as one, two, three. Go to usedsell.com and get the best price. Drop your phone in the usedsell free shipping envelope and say hello to your big check. So don't delay. Turn it into $100, $200, up to $350 in cash. Find out how much your used phone is worth. Go to usedsell.com. Saturday, top 20 teams highlight the action on the SEC Network. First, Matty Mock and the Pokemon continue their solid play at home against Indiana. Then, following the win that sent shockwaves through the SEC East, the number 14 Gamecocks head to Nashville to face Derek Mason's Commodores. Indiana, Missouri at 4. South Carolina, Vanderbilt at 7.30. Saturday on the SEC Network. The game was still tied at seven when a bad snap on a BYU punt left Washington State with good field position. Kicker Jason Hansen capitalized on the drive with a 22-yard field goal. And with 335 left in the first quarter, Washington State took a 10-7 lead over the BYU Cougars. BYU quarterback Ty Detmer was sacked as the first quarter ended. And as we pick up the action at the start of the second quarter, Brigham Young is facing third down and long on Washington State's 37-yard line. Play action now on third and long, and there's Bellini incomplete. Nice hit along the sidelines by the left corner, Ron Ricard. Ricard made an excellent play on Bellini. Bellini doesn't, doesn't often uh, drop passes, but uh, that hit by Ricard can do it. Nice pass here. Hits Bellini, and right here, he didn't. <laughs> I think he saw footsteps. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, he actually dropped it before he, he got he hit. Did. I think he, he, he heard him coming and saw him coming, which is unusual for Bellini. Earl Kaufman to punt it. And it goes into the end zone, and it'll be a touchback. Washington State will have it first down and 10 from their own 20-yard line. 
When you think about Washington State quarterbacks, and you've, of course, heard of many from BYU, you have to think about the throw in Samoan with the Cougars from Pullman. Jack Thompson, the Cougars' career leader in passing yards and touchdowns, went on to a pro career that included the likes of the Cincinnati Bengals in the early 1980s. Jack Thompson, and now their newest, Brad Gossin. Following in the footsteps of Tim Rosenbau and doing a fine job, thank you. The Cougars right now from Pullman lead by three as you look at scores from the American League. Don't forget, coming up at halftime, we'll bring you up to date on all the baseball pennant races and the U.S. Open match between Agassiz and Connors. Chris Fowler standing by with that. Broussard out of bounds at the 28 yard line. Chad Robinson made the stop. Well, they're taking Broussard now and putting him in as a slot back. And uh, as you recall, two years ago, he led the Pac-10 in receptions as a slot back. This year, he led the Pac-10 his past year as a rusher, which shows his versatility. Boy, it really does. There you see the story on Agassi, by the way, defeating Connors, but it took five sets today. And again, as we mentioned, Chris Fowler will update you on just exactly how that happened later tonight at halftime. There he is in the slot again. That's Swinton. Rich Swinton for the first down. Past the 30 to the 34 yard line. Rocky Beagle, the left side linebacker out of Wisconsin Rapids, Wisconsin, to make the stop. Broussard is putting Robinson uh, in a bind. He's not sure what to, what to do with Robinson. And he's uh, what to do with Broussard. He's coming in, he goes back out, and that time they handed it off. And uh, there was an excellent block on Robinson by Broussard. He's got him in a little bit of a bind. Washington State's offense has moved rather well here early on. Watch Stallworth on the option. Gossin for Broussard. Mitchell's got speed too. Touchdown. Sixty-six yards for Steve Broussard. Okay, that's the thing about Broussard. You put a linebacker on him. Watch uh, Gossin just stand in there. And here he is trying to catch. There's no way that uh, Johnson's going to be able to cover Broussard. And that's what they did by using Broussard in that slot back because now the linebackers have got to run with him. Mitchell had an angle on him, Vince. He thought that he would knock him out of bounds by merely making contact, but he's so strong that he fought off that tackle, and there was contact. Hansen for the extra point. Dennis Erickson may be in Miami, but boy, he did not leave the cupboard bare, did he? Washington State by 10. We all love that great taste of food hot off the grill, but your food gets stuck and it leaves a mess. Yuck! Until now. Introducing the amazing Yoshi Grill and Bake Mat. This new nonstick mat cooks food evenly while the grill stays squeaky clean. And watch this. You get perfect grill marks right through the mat. Amazing! The Yoshi Grill Mat makes fish easy to flip. And that melted cheese is impossible to clean. But Yoshi Grill Mat melts cheese with ease. You can pour that sauce on the steak, make lip smacking barbecue ribs, or finger licking buffalo chicken. Nothing falls through the cracks with the Yoshi Grill Mat. And the Yoshi Grill Mat reduces flare ups. Make juicy burgers that won't burn or dry out. Hey, those campground grills are gross. But the Yoshi Grill Mat keeps your food off the grate. It's even dishwasher safe. Call and get the amazing Yoshi Grill Mat for just $19.99. But wait, order now and get a second grill mat free. That's not all. You'll also get the incredible Yoshi Bake Mat. Now you can bake a cake and leave the pan spotless. Food slides right off and no burnt bottoms, just perfect grill marks. And call right now and shipping is free. That's right, free shipping to your door in time for your next barbecue. There's more. You also get the amazing grip and flip, free. Just pay processing. It's a spatula on the bottom and tongs on the top. 
Now nothing can slip when you grip and flip. You get it all for $19.99. Don't wait. Call now. To order, call 1-800-895-1094. That's 1-800-895-1094. 1-800-895-1094. You can order online at yoshigrill.com. Call or click today. Welcome to College Game Day. I think this might be one of those Saturdays where crazy things might be happening. An important medical alert for men who have taken Androgel and other testosterone therapy products. Androgel and other low-T products that are marketed to treat lack of energy, decrease sex drive, and physical and emotional changes have been linked to heart attack, stroke, pulmonary embolism, deep vein thrombosis, death, and other serious cardiac events. Scientific studies indicate that the use of testosterone therapy products doubled the risk of heart attack in men over 65 and tripled the risk in younger men who have a history of heart disease. If you or a loved one took androgel or a testosterone therapy product and suffered heart attack, stroke, pulmonary embolism, deep vein thrombosis, death, or any other serious cardiac event, you should call the attorneys of Parliament Law Firm to learn the legal options against the drug's manufacturer. Let our experienced legal team fight for the compensation and justice you deserve. Call Parliament Law Firm at 1-800-619-1295 for a free and confidential legal consultation. That's 1-800-619-1295. With Vince Dooley, I'm Tim Brando. With 1330 remaining second quarter, Washington State out of the Pac-10 in their second game of the year against BYU, and they're out to the early edge. And the big play has been the catalyst. Stallworth for 64 yards, and now Broussard, the two big play men, and that's the reason they have the lead by 10. Both uh, have speed, and Gosson has put them in the right spot, and they outrun linebackers. Mm -hmm. They really do, and again, linebackers being caught in blitzes. It's really burnt. Mike, Mike Price, yeah. he has to love it right now. He's he's just coach. like we talked about it. <laughs> just like we talked about it. Hanson to kick it away. Crutchfield is back deep, along with Stacy Corlin. Corley will keep it in the end zone. Tony Crutchfield was able to uh, debate him right back in there. Is uh, Gossin, and uh, he knows right away that he's going to go to Broussard. And he stays with a tremendous yeah, amount of patience, not worried about the rush that's him. coming all around him, and then at the right time releases the football. And now he knows that Broussard is being covered by Johnson, and he can't cover Johnson because of Broussard's speed. And here comes Mitchell, not quite fast enough to get Broussard. 66 yards and 64 yards. That first touchdown pass on the third play for Washington State to Stallworth. Play fake. Nice work by Detmer looking for Odell. He's got it. First down, BYU. Safety man came in and uh, Ricard made a nice play, but Older with great concentration on the football made the catch. Matt Older, his father was a heck of a receiver. You bet. Phil Odell went on to a pro career with the Lions from the 38 yard line now. BYU in Washington State territory. Smith, the tight end, as expected, being utilized just the way. Lavelle Edwards has always used his tight ends. An eight-yard gain down to the 30. Well, this is something we haven't seen with Smith. He got out of his tight end position and went in motion away and uh, made the reception coming back. This is a new set I'm sure Washington State hadn't seen. I'll be interested to see, Vince, from the 31-yard line now, if, in fact, Washington State starts to bring its linebackers and maybe its strong safety on blitzes. Both teams have been using it right about this place on the field. And look where Savage is. Yes. He's outside. And they went inside. Nice move 
by BYU. Whittingham takes the ball from the 25 to the 24, right where Savage would have normally lined up. It was a good call. There was no question they would expect him pass. And he just hands the ball off and gets a good block on the cross block on number 50. And here, Whittingham got good body lean, and he moves forward for two more yards. Grayson got blocked on that play. And there you see the first down story. BYU with the long drives, but they've been stopped about this place on the playing field with some defensive blitzes. The big play's been the story for Washington State. This is the key. There it comes now. Play fake. All right. Detmer, plenty of room. Out of bounds at the eight yard line. Dittmer came back on this is their necking. This gets them out and gets them away from the rush. And he continues on and goes downfield, keeps running, keeps running, keeps looking. Then all of a sudden the ball comes out here. And we go back to the new rule, mm -hmm. which says the ball comes back to where he had it last, right. as opposed to it going out of bounds further down the field. Ty Detmer, the quarterback, resourceful, can run the ball as well as throw it. First and goal. Hey. Over the middle. Oh, and touchdown. <laughs> Lightning strikes fast at 4,500 feet. Dittmer went to the second receiver. He was trying to go initially to the outside receiver, but then came back in. We're seeing a clinic by two quarterbacks <laughs> that are very young, with a lot of playing time left in front of them in both the Pac-10 and the West. They're both getting pressure, but they're both coming through. Odell on the receiving end, and they're down three. Saturday, top 20 teams highlight the action on the SEC Network. First, Matty Mock and the potent offense of number 18 Missouri look to continue their solid play at home against Indiana. Then, following a win that sent shockwaves through the SEC East, the number 14 Gamecocks head to Nashville to face Derek Mason's Commodores. Indiana, Missouri at 4, South Carolina Vanderbilt at 7.30, Saturday on the SEC Network. Do you have an idea for a new product or invention? Hi, I'm George Foreman. People ask me all the time, George, how do I get my idea in front of companies? How do I get a patent? What do I do next? Do you have the same questions? I'll tell you like I'll tell them all. Call my friends at InventHelp. InventHelp has been helping inventors for more than 30 years and has sales offices nationwide. InventHelp can provide patent referrals and submit your invention to companies who are interested in receiving new ideas. If you have an idea and want to try to patent it and submit it to companies, you should call InventHelp today for free information. Listen, I can't guarantee your company will be interested in your idea, but I believe every inventor deserves the opportunity to step into the ring and take their best shot. Put InventHelp in your corner. For your free inventor's information, call 1-800-591-4112. That's 1-800-591-4112. Hey, Courtney Hansen here with you for Endurance. If you're like me, you love your car. But even the best vehicles break down at some point. And when your car's warranty expires, you're going to have to pay those repairs out of pocket. Can you believe what it costs to repair your car these days? I mean, look at these prices. I can think of so many things I would rather buy than a new fuel injector or transmission. Well, Endurance has a solution. With an Endurance Vehicle Protection Plan, we pay for your auto repairs. The parts, the labor, all of it's covered. With Endurance, you'll save thousands and you get to choose the mechanic who repairs your car. Remember, insurance only covers you if you're in an accident, but that's just half the equation. Endurance is the other half, protecting you when your car breaks down. Insurance plus endurance equals total protection. That's my kind of math. Protect yourself against the high cost of auto repairs with endurance. Call right now for a free quote. 
September is the final chance. It's time to step up or step aside. Move aside and let the man go through. Let the man go through. This is when dreams are decided on a single pitch. And the fate of a season rides on every inch. Let the man go through. Rule 9.16. If you don't win in September, there is no October. Brewers Cardinals, tonight at 8. Baseball rules on ESPN. BYU was still trailing 17-14 late in the first half when Ty Detmer was picked off in the end zone by Washington State's Dan Grayson. BYU then forced a Washington State punt and moved quickly downfield as Ty Detmer connected with tight end Chris Smith inside the WSU 25-yard line. Detmer then found Matt Bellini in the end zone for a touchdown. And with 33 seconds left in the half, Brigham Young went on top 21-17. Washington State answered early in the second half as Steve Brizard made his way into the end zone for a WSU touchdown. We rejoin the game now with 9-01 left in the third quarter and the Washington State Cougars leading the BYU Cougars 24-21. It's first down and 10 for WSU as they take over on Brigham Young's 39-yard line after a short BYU punt. Ty Detmer, number 14, looks on, realizing his team trails by three, and Washington State has great field position, their best of the night, at the 39 of BYU. Broussard stopped. Chad Robinson there to make the tackle. And Gosson uh, missed the read. Robinson did a good job of faking him off and then coming in late. Normally, Gosson would uh, raise up and hit the wide receiver or the, the slot back stalwart, which he could have done. A good job by Robinson, number nine, the outside linebacker. We talk about Detmer's numbers. <laughs> Gosson's pale in comparison, but still, what a night. <laughs> big, big plays. Second down. Over the middle, Young dropped it at the six. Now, Irvin Lee may have stripped him there. If he did, it was a tremendous play in man to man coverage. Number four, Irvin Lee out of Navasota, Texas, a sophomore. Ron Young at the top of your screen breaks in on Lee and has him beat. I don't think there's any question about that. The ball is on the pocket, and he just dropped yeah. it. I don't think Lee did anything. He was beat. The vertical stretch, which is what the Washington does so well. They both pass, but they do it differently. BYU likes to come across the middle. Third down, 11. Blitz. And they got him at the 41. Kafusi and Bud Orr both combining on the stop. After the scores from baseball and tennis, don't forget Sports Center tonight immediately following our game. All the scores and highlights at 11.30 Eastern time. That's the kind of play they expected to get out of Kafusi. He didn't play very well in the first ball game, but he's playing like they think he can. Mm -hmm. They project him as their best pass rusher, don't they? Well, along, that's excluding excluding mm -hmm. the linebackers. Exactly. Well, oh, this is a long field goal. But they know that Jason Hansen can do it. He's kicked them from 52 and 51 a year ago. The 52-yarder came off grass. Remember, no T. Number four, Jason Hansen. Well, this is one of those where I don't know because uh, you uh, it depends on the punting. I'd hate mm -hmm. to give BYU the ball at the 41-yard line, which is what you do when you try a field goal this long. It's a 58-yard attempt. Now, he kicked some in practice in excess of 60 yards, and I'm sure Bryce must be thinking, the way BYU has controlled the ball, we need to get points whenever we can. Uh, well, I uh, probably would go ahead and punt the ball. <laughs> Let's get it inside the 10-yard line and keep BYU, back, BYU backed up. It's the punter, Rob Myers, that's holding, so you really needn't worry about a fake, at least with the holder throwing the pass. We'll see. A lot of leg. He got it. 58 yards by Hanson. Well, he knew his kicker better than I did. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, he, he's happy because he knows he made the right decision because that would have been a bad decision and he missed it. Yeah, the price was right for a field goal try and he came through with flying colors. This Hanson is one great kicker. Gets down on it, drives the ball well, keeps his head down, and I think he knows that it's in there. But he's not going to say, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got it. His longest ever, 58 yards, Jason Hansen. Excluding practice, his longest ever. And when you consider the turf and no tee, boy, the pro scouts will be drooling over that young man. And he's got uh, this year and next year. Oh, Two more years. Just a sophomore out of Spokane, Washington. He has a 50 straight extra points coming in tonight. He's added, of course, to that four times. And of course, the field goal as well. 27 21 our score. BYU trailing by 6, 7 28 remaining third quarter. Hanson to kick off. Crutchfield again is back deep, along with Charlton for Brigham Young. I don't know exactly why they're holding up play, but now he will address the ball. Again, a nice driving boot. A yard deep, it's Crutchfield. Stopped at the 20, and again a marker down. And if this is against BYU, remember these two flags, because in each case, it would have put them back around their 10-yard line. And it's hard to run your offense from that position. Penalties definitely hurt BYU tonight. It's a clip. And that, that puts them right back at the 10-yard line. You can see the clip right here on the right is right here on number 20. And uh, definite clip hit blocking from behind. That field goal, by the way, was the longest ever in Cougar Stadium, 58 yards. Wayne Clements of Texas had a 55-yarder a few years back. Now, uh, thank you. We're happy to be bringing ESPN to you for 10 years and beyond. The leaning in motion on first and 10. Incomplete over the middle. Looking for Franzen. He's getting some pressure. He had to hurry that, and they crowded uh, at Bellini. They're playing him a little tighter. The scoring drive for Washington State. They didn't have to travel far. Minus two yards, but a 58-yard field goal. And remember, field position, the key to those three. The penalty on the kickoff really brought forth those three points. Detmer's numbers building. And Franzen's got it beyond the 20 to the 23 yard line for a first down. 13 yards on the pickup, and they needed that one desperately. Grayson and Diggs combine on the stop for Washington State. I think they now believe that they've got to go to some other receivers. They've uh, hit Smith and Bellini so much that they got to go and use the other receivers. Whittingham, there's a new receiver, usually the tough runner in the middle. Fred Whittingham to the 29-yard line. Dan Grayson made the tackle, so they are beginning to mix it up a bit. Grayson had the nice interception to stop a would-be touchdown for BYU in the second quarter, number 15 in white. Uh, they've started to double Bellini, so that's going to leave uh, Whittingham and some of the other receivers open. Tacklers cracks up to the 30 yard line. Number 92, Dan Weber, 6'2, 272 pound junior from Bellevue, Washington, made the stop. Seeing playing time now, in essence, because Savage has been sidelined as adjustments are being made defensively for the Cougars. Third down and four coming up. 
Detmer again under duress from Weber and company throws it away and there again it you just joined us Tony Savage the outland candidate from Washington State injured sprained his ankle late in the second quarter we have been told he could return but so far the Washington State defense has been doing it now we just received word that they've made the decision he can't come back so well, the shoulder of the pressure now falls on Marlon Brown and company. Nice punt this time by Kaufman. Diggs with a fair catch at the 26 yard line. 535 remaining third quarter. Washington State injured but leading. This is a national health care alert from the Health Hotline. If you, a family member, or a loved one suffers from knee pain and have Medicare as your primary insurance, we've got great news. You could qualify for a pain relieving knee brace at little or no cost to you. Get free delivery, and all the paperwork is handled by our accredited suppliers at no charge to you. We also have other pain relieving braces available for shoulder, ankle, and your back. Call the number on your screen right now to immediately receive a pain relieving brace at little or no cost. Hey guys, tired of looking like a before? Then look like an after. Introducing the Incredible Tone Tee, the new body shaping fitwear made for men. Men who want to look slimmer, trimmer, and leaner. With Tone Tee, you'll see results instantly. Just wear the Incredible Tone Tee like an undershirt under your clothes. It's totally invisible, so no one will know it's there. But everyone will notice how much leaner and younger you look. Tone T's super slimming secret is its unique tone technology. Precision core compression panels which target key problem areas for men. Just put on a tone T and you'll lose those love handles and shave up to five inches off the appearance of your waist instantly. Call or go online now and get your tone T for the incredible price of just $19.99. But wait, order your tone T in black today and we'll send you a second one in white absolutely free. This is the special limited time offer. Get an incredible tone tee for free. Order today. Oh, man. Mm, mm, mm. Don't look good. Yeah, it looks like it's both. Two tires. Shoot, that will set you back 400 Yeah, $400 I don't have. Just what I don't need. What up, Joe? Hey, Joe. You mean CashNetUSA.com, man. CashNetUSA. CashNetUSA.com, man. I believe this is what you do need. It's safe and simple says here you can complete the application in minutes um i'll take it from here complete the application in minutes and if approved you may get the money you need as soon as tomorrow oh cool uh thanks cash cashnetusa.com man yeah it's actually my cell phone. Oh, I need that okay, to yeah. make calls. Sure, no, I get it. Yeah, yeah. Apply now at cashnetusa.com slash TV and save 25% as a new customer with promo code TV257. Money's on the way with CashNet USA. Joe, just use the gate. You won't judge. Welcome to College Game Day. I think this might be one of those Saturdays where crazy things might be happening. It's a healthy September on ESPN, and Washington State and BYU are doing their best to entertain you. 27 21, 5 35 remaining with Vince Dooley and Tim Brando. Motion on the offensive front. Well, Sant, the tight end, who caught the pass, left too quickly. And that's the reason for the marker. It'll be interesting to see Washington State's now offensive philosophy events. What with the knowledge that their defense has stopped BYU for the first time twice in a row to start the second half. They're going to have to keep doing their thing, and part of their thing was what you just saw then. Whenever mm -hmm. they give it, to give the tight end or the slot back the opportunity with a little dump, they're going to take it, and they're going to continue. Before the ball was snapped, we got offside on the defense. First down. Whoa! So there was Whoa. defensive movement first. 
You clearly could see 82 Wellsant leave too soon, but there must have been movement early on by BYU. So who are they penalizing? BYU. 82 clearly offside. And they're penalizing BYU. Yeah. Now, wait a minute. They, they went the other way. They they had it incorrect, and now they're making the change. Yeah. Obviously, Wellsant with procedure, not offsides for BYU. <laughs> Well, it's early in the season, even for the official. Wow. They're still talking over it over the center. Are you sure you got it right, Mr. Ref? <laughs> so it's first and 15. They cleared it up. Quick hitch again to Olsen, the tight end. Number 46 in white, who does see a lot of playing time at that position. He may have more quickness, but his hands have been in question. Well, saying a little bigger, maybe the better blocker, but they use the twin tight end look a great deal. They use it a lot, but not uh, not tonight because they're able to put Grishaw uh, in the spot. Mm -hmm. And again, they're going to every time you give them that, if you don't cover the receiver, they're going to pop it to the tight end of the slot back. Olsen again fighting away from Dixon at the 35 and a flag Norm Dixon bulldogging him down right there at the 35 yard line and a marker down as Vince mentioned. Well I think we've gotten our cue from Washington State offensively they're throwing but it's underneath and the clock keeps moving with a six point lead. They'd like to keep some clock moving but six points uh, against BYU mm -hmm. that's no lead at all. <laughs> Here's Guy Gibbs mm. holding now mm. uh, against mm. the, 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 the Cougars of BYU, and that'll help them move the chains. Penalties have really hurt BYU. <laughs> we have holding on an eligible receiver. Ten yard penalty and first down. Lavelle Edwards looks on. Let's see. There's no question that Crutchfield, oh, he's got him. He let go of him, but uh, he got him. Crutchfield's a little fire plug. He comes in as a nickelback. That may be the only way to stop Star Wars, though. Swinton. Rick Swinton shows some outside ability. Just shy of midfield at the 49 yard line. Swinton out of Canoga Park, California. Eight of nine yards on Pick the up of nine. The They're going to run some block. There's a good block here on Mitchell by uh, by number th 33. Swenson is a runner, Evan. But uh, an excellent block. Griggs, the wide receiver, came up to affect that play. Second down a yard to go. Well, they fake the dump pattern and they come outside to Young. Incomplete again, Dixon over there with some help from Robinson, the outside linebacker. So it's third down and a yard to go for Washington State. 4.23 remaining in the third quarter. 27 21 our score. It was 21 17 at halftime. And the Cougars, who scored big with the long plays in the first half, are trying to be more consistent before this jam-packed crowd at Cougar Stadium in Provo here in the second half. Going to give it to uh, Broussard. Or oh, Swenson. Swenton has it. First down. Inside the 45 to the 44-yard line. Swenton and Broussard's like a tag team. <laughs> Broussard led the... Led the conference in rushing, and then Swinton was uh, fourth in the conference. 90 yards a, uh, a game. Well, they have the wrestler Bill, don't they? <laughs> Short and stocky. Yeah. Swinton coming off the playing field now. Five rushes, 24 yards. But they've been tough yards the last couple of drives. First and ten. Play fake to Broussard. 
Now they look for Olsen. He's got it at the two-yard line. Troy Fuller finally hauled him down a 42-yard gain. And we have an injured Cougar. I don't think. Alima Fatizamanu is now injured. Here it is, Olsen, and uh, he beats uh, again for the second time. Fitz, uh, Fitzima, Fitzima, new. Fatizamanu. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. For a long time, they've had Polynesian players here, and Fatizamanu here definitely injured in trying to catch up with the tight end that does have the speed, Rod Olsen. As a Actually, it was Fuller that hit Fuller him. Fuller runs into him. Appears to be up and okay, and Alima Fatizamano will go out. Out of American Samoa, junior, 6'1", 230-pounder. Again, uh, Gosson saw the mismatch and knew where to go. Mm -hmm. I continue to be impressed with the quarterbacks. And uh, checked it off, saw it, and kept his poise and threw the ball right at the right team. First down, goal. Outside the one-yard line. Broussard stopped shy of the first down. He talked about his power and where he generates that power. Broussard runs low to the ground. And, and you know, he reminds me a bit, Vince, of, of Robert Newhouse because of those big thighs he has. And you know, he has had some hamstring problems, and that historically has pro have caused problems for runners like that. Eyes that big, you'll have some uh, hands going from. Another one is the enemy up at uh, Colorado. Yeah. Very much like him. That coach Ravel Edwards thinks it's very much uh, like the enemy. Second and one. Oh, set up. Broussard, same play. It's a touchdown. Deja vu, much like that last run we saw from number 31 for six. Broussard, uh, once again, is tough. He makes the right cut, and then he gets low. Extra effort, and then he dives right here. And Washington State, realizing that their defense had been able to stop BYU, picked away on that drive. A consistent, long drive, using some clock, certainly the most clock we've seen tonight, the key. Just a little bit. Trying to decide the two pointer. Huh? Exactly. They already had it in mind during the drive, I'm sure. This could make it a 14 point lead, so you can understand why they decided to make this move. Stallworth incomplete. Ferguson right there with him. So it's a 12 point Washington State lead. Gosson went after number seven that time, but Eric Ferguson handled the test. But Washington State again with power running from Broussard for six. Again, when you get around the goal line, you want to give it to Broussard because he'll find the spot. Here he stopped, but then a little second effort, he takes the blocker on into the end zone. Uh, the right tackle, Garmin. Continues to uh, move his feet, comes inside the uh, trap block by Coma, and then just hits Garman, number 74, and drives him on in the end zone with a second effort. Ushered in by Garman. <laughs> <laughs> and Hansen will kick off now for Washington State. You see the time remaining, but again, BYU with their offense playing. In this stadium, you know they have 12 more points in them, perhaps, as long as they can keep the pressure off. Last couple of times, with poor field position in defense of Detmer, he has been pressured by the pass rush of Washington State. Poor field position, good pressure, and I would say that right now, this quarter certainly belongs to Washington State. I don't know what kind of time we're talking about, mm -hmm. but definitely. Uh, possession in favor of Washington State. A high 
kick by Hanson. Crutchfield a yard deep again. Oh, what a scene. Hanson has a shot, and he drags him down at the 48-yard line. Number four saved a touchdown for Washington State. Hanson has been the player of the night, despite all the great play by the quarterbacks. He's got to make this tackle. He's wide open for the touchdown, and usually your punter is not a good tackle. But did a good job right here, staying up high. For his position, you see the 47-yard return. For his position, Jason Hansen may be one of the best on Mike Price's team. That was a quote from him to us earlier today. Bootleg. Gutmer looking for Boyce wide open. got to do is come across the middle and this safety man got lost. Royce makes the tackle and finally and hasn't played any at all. Ty Detmer rolling up some great numbers in this game. 389 yards only missing on 10 a career high. Bellini to the five. Randy Gray, along with number 97, Tim Downing, hauling him down. Roosevelt Noble also in on the pile. Well, they were stopped here earlier on a pass interception, Vince. And with the score the way it is now, they better get in the end zone. They need to score here. You're right. Second and three. Whittingham. Touchdown! Just a sweep to Whittingham. And he gets a good block by Chris Smith, the tight end. And Whittingham dances on in for the touchdown. Chaffetz with the extra point. And what was that we said earlier about uh, 12 points against BYU isn't, isn't a lot? <laughs> you bet it isn't. 33-28 our score. Hey guys, are you tired of sucking it in? So stop sucking it in. Introducing Tone T, the revolutionary new body shaping fitwear, specifically engineered for men, men who want to look slimmer, trimmer, and leaner. With Tone T, you'll see results instantly. Just wear the incredible Tone T like an undershirt under all your clothes. It's totally invisible, so no one will know it's there, but everyone will notice the difference in how much leaner, firmer and younger you look with the tone tee on i'm definitely a lot thinner around the waist i did a measurement and it's about three three and a half inches difference which is huge tone tee super slimming secret is it's specially engineered 360 degree tone technology precision core stabilizing compression panels which target and shape key problem areas for men it firms and tones those pecs instantly the hidden rib compression panels flatten your midsection. It also comfortably smooths and eliminates love handles. It even streamlines back fat. Tone T gives you the instant appearance of a visibly slimmer, sleek, more athletic looking physique. The premium stretchable blended fabric fits firmly and comfortably against the skin. And the athletic design is engineered for maximum mobility. With your Tone T underneath, you'll look sleek and streamlined at the office that special occasion when you want to look your best. You can even wear it at the gym. You know, I'm about 20 pounds overweight. Uh, my belly's the hardest thing to get rid of. With the Tone Tee, it's just gone. Tone Tee, 
for men who want to impress. Stop being a before. Look like an after. Call or go online now and get your tone tee for the incredible price of just $19.99. Choose from the sleek tee or tank style in black or white. But wait. Order your tone tee in black today and we'll send you a second one in white absolutely free. That's right. Free. No hidden costs. No shipping charge. You'll get your second tone tee absolutely free. This is the special limited time offer. Get an incredible tone tee for free. Order today. Saturday, top 20 teams highlight the action on the SEC Network. First, Matty Mock and the potent offense of number 18 Missouri look to continue their solid play at home against Indiana. Then, following the win that sent shockwaves through the SEC East, the number 14 Gamecocks head to Nashville to face Derek Mason's Commodores. Indiana, Missouri at 4, South Carolina Vanderbilt at 7.30, Saturday on the SEC Network. Looking sharp, Len. Who's the lucky lady? I'm going to the bank to discuss a mortgage. <sighs> See, you need a loan, you put on a suit, you go crawling to the bank. This is how I dress to get a mortgage. <laughs> I just go to Lending Tree. I calculate how much home I can afford. I get multiple offers to compare side by side. And the best part is, the banks come crawling to me. Everything you need to get a better mortgage. Clothing optional. Lending Tree. When banks compete, you win. Okay. Awkward. Back pain? Get the same kind of therapy without an appointment. New Smart Relief from Icy Hot. Press a button and relaxing pulses quickly block even chronic pain. It's wireless and easy to use. New Smart Relief from Icy Hot. No appointment necessary. Are you being audited and do you owe the IRS $10,000 or more in back taxes? If you owe $10,000 or more in back taxes, do not call the IRS alone. Call a tax doctor now. With just under 11 and a half minutes remaining in the game and Washington State still leading 33-28, the Cougars of the Pac-10 picked up another three points with a 52-yard field goal by kicker Jason Hansen. BYU then intercepted a Washington State pass midway through the fourth quarter. But the WSU Cougars picked off Ty Detmer on the next play and took the ball all the way to the BYU two-yard line. Steve Broussard then carried the football easily into the end zone for his third touchdown of the night. And as we return to the game with eight minutes left to play, BYU is trying to make a comeback, trailing Washington State 43-28. It's first down and 10 for the BYU Cougars near their own 33-yard line as we continue with the game here on ESPN Classic. <laughs> There's plenty of time on the clock, so uh, they need to move down the field, but not uh, in a situation that's desperate. Eight minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. Franzen near another first down at the 43. Langwin again, along with Ledbetter making the stop. Now Jay Langwin may be the hero defensively of this game after that interception out of Port Archard, Washington. Can play both safety positions, really, and was a great special teams player a year ago. Well, he may see a lot more playing time after <laughs> what he's done tonight. Yeah. But look at that. Career highs for Detmer, and yet he may only remember the two picks in the second half by night's end. He had one in the first half that Grayson picked off. He saw three on the night, and that was inside the 10-yard line, and a touchdown turned away. And as we mentioned, Mike Price and Lavelle Edwards both knew their offenses would move. It was just a question of how few times their defenses would allow the offenses of the opposition into the end zone. And that's been the story tonight. But penalties, penalties, and interceptions. Young offensive line will be tested now. Detmer gets away from Downey. Now under duress. Nope. Incomplete intended for Andy Boyce. He really did get hit. Ron Ricard made that hit along the sidelines. And Downing, number 97. Oh. Keep rushing the back, back, back. 
When you're in this kind of situation, you can just back your ears if you're the four down lineman and go. Because you know, 85, 90% of the time. Tony Savage, their best rusher, their best lineman, maybe the best in the West, has been out the entire second half, but it hasn't mattered, has it? Detmer, incomplete, right through the hands of Odell, and we have a marker down. Well, we've seen some sure-handed receivers now. Both Odell and Bellini drop some passes here in the second half. A push against BYU. The misery index creeping up on BYU. Look at that. Three turnovers, 11 penalties. You mentioned those, Vince. Two drop passes now. And five sacks allowed, and that young offensive, offensive front. Pass interference on the offense. Loss of down. Roger French was concerned about his guys not being as physical as Washington State up front. Well, he felt like that they would just uh, overpower him mm -hmm. and push him back, cave him in, as he said. And that's happened a couple of times tonight. Particularly when you get in this kind of a situation, you'll see the. Uh, the lineman back their legs, get elongated stance, so there's only one way they're going. Third and 26. Beckner for Franzen. Nice up to midfield and just shy of the first down with yet another marker down in the backfield. And you'll hear some boos if it is holding. Oh, this. Uh, and it oh. is. <laughs> I've never seen, I can't remember a team being hurt this much by penalties. Mm -hmm. But again, it, we point back to offensive line, youth. And again, Stevens at center, only a junior, hasn't played a great deal. Bombforth, a junior, hasn't played a great deal. Number 70, the left guard. Holding. Number 72, May here. Oh. Looks like he's got him. Yeah, he's got him. He's pulling him down. The right tackle. Yeah, number 72, May is holding. 96 gray just a sophomore and again we point up that's that's just a fact of life for BYU they are very young up front but still after the game's over when they look at the offensive numbers they probably won't believe they only got 28 points if in fact the score stays this way Ty Detmer now taking time out it appears 7 16 remaining on our 10th anniversary it's been a lot of fun this past decade. We've got a lot more left here. So this board gives me rates on Progressive Direct and other car insurance companies? Yes. But you're Progressive and they're them? Yes. But they're here? Yes. Are you? There? Yes. No. Are you them? I'm me. But the lowest rate is from them? Yes. So them's the best rate is? Here. So where are them? Aren't them here? I already asked you that. When? Feels like a while ago. You want to take it from the top? Rates for us and them. Now that's progressive. Call or click today. Are you stuck with a slow computer? Thanks to internet clutter, junk files, and viruses. Well, my friend, help has arrived. MyCleanPC.com. First, the free computer diagnosis at MyCleanPC.com can tell you what's slowing down your computer. And then you simply activate MyCleanPC.com software to help speed up your computer and remove, <laughs> yes, even viruses. Yes! Bravo! Another save by MyCleanPC.com. Pay attention to see how you could get $1,000 in your bank account tomorrow. So I was having money issues and living paycheck to paycheck when the car I was using every day to get to work broke down. That's when I found WeFixMoney.com. WeFixMoney.com was quick and easy and they got me $900 in my bank account the next day. They have a nationwide network of lenders who are available and willing to help people like you and me get cash fast. Use it for car repairs, unexpected bills, or to hold you over till your next payday. So if you're over 18 with a monthly income of at least $800, call or log on now to WeFixMoney.com and you can get up to $1,000 in your bank account in as little as 24 hours. It takes just two minutes to apply and costs you nothing. Customer service is available 24 hours a day. Trust me. Trust them. Log on to WeFixMoney.com. Call 877-76-WE-FIX or log on to wefixmoney.com today. We're together even when we're apart. I'm connected to your voice, flowing 
Meet the one you've been missing at the largest dating site for black singles, blackpeoplemeet.com. Start today for free. Saturday, top 20 teams highlight the action on the SEC Network. First, Matty Mock and the potent offense of number 18 Missouri look to continue their solid play at home against Indiana. Then, following the win that sent shockwaves through the SEC East, the number 14 Gamecocks head to Nashville to face Derek Mason's Commodores. Indiana, Missouri at 4. South Carolina, Vanderbilt at 7.30. Saturday on the SEC Network. Deshaun McCoy out in space is more dangerous than... I'm here to make history, and I can't miss any chance to get better. The defense is not going to honor that if the running game's not fit, so they just going to come to keep Every Sunday, I count on countdown. 43-28, our score. A 15-point Washington State lead with 7-16 remaining with Vince Dooley on Tim Brando. Third and an eternity for the Cougars at BYU. That's the dash to get out of the way of the rush, which gives him more time. And there's Smith. Oh, he just overshot him just a bit. And as much as Chris Smith has been involved in long patterns, it looked like it had a chance of making a completion. Uh, once again, they had to use the dash by coming back and then sprinting out to the wide side of the field. And with the rush that they've had, uh, that's the only way they're going to get time to throw the ball down the field, which they did, and almost had a play to Smith. And Kaufman will punt it away. And if you're looking for a turning point in this game, it may have been after Kaufman punted the ball to the one, and then BYU served up a pass interception after getting good field position. Bad punt by Kaufman this time. It's been an adventure for him, a roller coaster ride. And this one only 17 yards gives Washington State the ball at the BYU 35. A long evening for that man, Lavelle Edwards. When it goes bad, it goes bad. BYU 6 0 at home last year. This will be their first defeat. Since 87, as we mentioned earlier, at home. If, in fact, Washington State holds on. Two touchdowns, two two point conversions, and a lot can happen. Washington State can put it away on this drive right here. That's Swinton met by Robinson. And for a time, it appeared Robinson may have been the hero because he had the interception and gave BYU the ball just prior to Langwin's pickoff of Ty Edmer. They want to run some clock, so uh, when that kind of a situation, it's much better for a back to cut up field and run, run out of bounds, which stops the clock. He knows he's not going to get anything anyway. Pretty good night for Brad Gosson. 50% and over 300 yards in the air. It's a lot better than what it looks, really. <laughs> Straight drop. Ooh, Stallworth had it, lost it. And they hit by Dixon doing large part. It was two on two, and now Stallworth saying it, he came up with it, and he may have. What? Well, Dixon knocked it free, and I think while he was on his back, Stallworth came up with the catch. Well, if he did, that is a spectacular catch. Does Dixon really hit him? Stallworth comes across. He's got the ball. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, he did. What a tremendous job of concentration on the football. And Dixon hit him as he was going for the interception. He gambled and lost. Reverse. And that's Stallworth. Stay in bounds. Out of holding. Parker down. And I think you're right. It should be holding. As Stallworth is knocked out of bounds at the 11-yard line. Chad Robinson, among others, in hot pursuit. Stallworth, like three other Washington State players, has had problems off the field. He actually did time this year for driving without a license, caught for the second time. He, along with Dan Grayson, and Steve Broussard have had brushes with the law. And we asked Mike Price earlier today about the effects that that could have. Holding on the offensive team, still first down. And Mike Price told us, because both of them 
or seniors that they have formed sort of a leadership saying, mm -hmm. uh, look, uh, fellas, don't do those kind mm -hmm. of things. There's no way it's going to help. Are ordinary socks squeezing your calves and ankles too tight? Uncomfortable? Constricting? They never feel right? Are they so hot they give you wet, sweaty feet? Introducing No Sweat Socks, the super stretchy, completely comfortable socks that keep your feet cool and dry. No Sweat Socks are amazing. So comfy and my feet stay dry all day. Never too tight. Always just right. Staying comfortable is no sweat with the coziest socks you can get. Ordinary socks constrict ankles and calves cutting off circulation but no sweat socks soft plastic band hold socks up without restricting circulation or causing creases while the revolutionary dry step wicking fabric draws moisture away from your skin to the outside of the sock where it evaporates keeping feet dry and comfortable all day all night no matter how often I adjust other socks they're just too tight and uncomfortable but no sweat socks stay up without squeezing my legs they're perfect no sweat socks give your feet ankles and calves the comfort they need while walking taking care of business at work enjoying your day out and about and they're especially great when you're on your feet all day look no sweat socks stretch way out then go right back into shape they go on easy stay secure and because they stay dry they help prevent foot odors they're so stretchy and so airy I love these socks making my feet happy is no sweat with no sweat socks medical anti-moisture support socks can cost over $45 a pair but order now, get not one, but two pairs of no sweat socks for only $10 in your choice of white or black, available in your size. But wait, order right now and we'll double the offer. Get two more pairs free. Just pay separate processing and handling. This offer won't last. Don't delay. Order now. Call 1-800-549-2971 or visit nosweatsocks.com to order for just $10. That's 1-800-549-2971. 1-800-549-2971 or go to nosweatsocks.com. Order now. Welcome to College Game Day. There's the bear. I think this might be one of those Saturdays where crazy things might be happening. You wouldn't buy Universal Fit shoes for your feet. Why buy Universal Fit parts for your car? Go to rockauto.com. Parts from rockauto.com fit your car exactly. And they're easier to install because they have the same connectors and brackets as your car's original parts. And at Rock Auto, original equipment quality costs less than other stores charge for generics. Order online, deliver to your home or office. rockauto.com. All the parts your car will ever need, Rock Auto. You really want to be the 88th person out on the course in khakis? If not, then GolfKnickers.com has your look. With the world's greatest selection of golf knickers, argyle socks, and sweaters, GolfKnickers.com has a look that'll get you noticed and create those lasting memories. An afternoon with friends, corporate outings, best dress competitions, wedding weekends, or school team and staff uniforms. Start building your memories. For a free catalog, come see us at GolfKnickers.com. First down and 18 now for Washington State. Broussard runs right into Fred Patterson, number 51, 6'5", junior from Castledale, Utah. Left tackle that they expect big things from in the future. As a starter, really coming off a broken leg, not in great shape, but they'd love to see more action from him. He's been mending that bad leg from a year ago. Second and 20. Just by keeping the ball inside and not running out of bounds, you'll see how fast the clock is running down. Play fake. Robinson blitzing. Beagle can't get him. Orr and company finally do, and Beagle comes back yet another time. Chad Robinson leading the charge. And it's third and 30 coming up. 5.19 left. 
Now you said this was a chance for Washington State to put it away. Now they're going backwards. You, uh, you can never predict what's going to happen on the next play in this ball game because it has changed almost mm -hmm. every play. One thing has been consistent: the penalties. Mm -hmm. Third and thirty. They keep it on the ground. Broussard again. Swinton rather than Broussard. I beg your pardon. Number thirty-three. He liked Broussard. Built low to the ground. Bob Davis made the stop. And you see the clock ticking at 4:30 and counting. And Hanson is going for his third one. 58-52. This one should be 46. They'll mark it at the 36 yard line. And angles really haven't mattered either. Well, this is the worst angle he's had. But it really doesn't matter. <laughs> he has put on some kicking performance tonight. 406 remaining. This is a national health care alert from the Health Hotline. If you, a family member, or a loved one suffers from knee pain and have Medicare as your primary insurance, we've got great news. You could qualify for a pain-relieving knee brace at little or no cost to you. Get free delivery, and all the paperwork is handled by our accredited suppliers at no charge to you. If you're on Medicare and have knee pain, don't wait. You may qualify to immediately receive a pain-relieving brace at little or no cost. Friendly agents are standing by 24-7 to help you. Call the health hotline right now for details toll-free. Our friendly representatives are standing by now to take your call. We also have other pain-relieving braces available for shoulder, ankle, and your back. You may be eligible to receive these items and more at little or no cost to you as well. Call right now for details toll-free. Operators are standing by. Call 866-249-0627. That's 866-249-0627. Again, 866-249-0627. That's 866-249-0627. Hey guys, tired of looking like a before? Then look like an after. Introducing the Incredible Tone T, the new body shaping fitwear made for men. Men who want to look slimmer, trimmer, and leaner. With Tone T, you'll see results instantly. Just wear the Incredible Tone T like an undershirt under your clothes. It's totally invisible, so no one will know it's there. But everyone will notice how much leaner and younger you look. Tone T's super slimming secret is its unique tone technology. Precision core compression panels which target key problem areas for men. Just put on a Tone T and you'll lose those love handles and shave up to five inches off the appearance of your waist instantly. Call or go online now and get your Tone T for the incredible price of just $19.99. But wait, order your Tone T in black today and we'll send you a second one in white absolutely free. This is the special limited time offer. Get an incredible Tone T for free. Order today. Every day, bring something new at Hotlook.com. And no matter what day of the week, we've got you covered. Check out the latest looks at the touch of your fingertips and get it all delivered right to your door. Find the right style for any situation at Hotlook. Saturday, top 20 teams highlight the action on the SEC Network. First, Matty Mock and the potent offense of number 18 Missouri look to continue their solid play at home against Indiana. Then, following the win that sent shockwaves through the SEC East, the number 14 Gamecocks head to Nashville to face Derek Mason's Commodores. Indiana, Missouri at 4. South Carolina, Vanderbilt at 7.30. Saturday on the SEC Network. We have a pretty intense fantasy football league. Last place, gets a tattoo of the winner's choice. With this league, you need to prepare for anything. Actives and inactives have started rolling in. What are you going to do? I got to change my lineup. I hit his laptop. <laughs> you don't want to come in last, so you need a show you can count on. 46-28 our score, 406 to play. Washington State now with what you think is almost an insurmountable lead. Almost, as always. <laughs> That small percentage chance. And you'd really, the only reason you say that is because of what we've witnessed. Yeah. The first three and a half quarters. 
Charlton, along with Crutchfield, are back deep. Crutchfield, 24, Charlton, 43. Crutchfield. And again, <laughs> we've seen that before from Hanson, haven't we? No way to bring it out. Four field goals, four extra points, 16 in all for Jason Hanson. A nice evening's work indeed, and he's only a sophomore. His field goals of 22, 58, 52, and 36. Yeah, and he's feeling good. You didn't mention how many times he kicked in the end zone with no return. He's all smiles. <laughs> BYU operating with no huddle now in their hurry up. They got a hurry, hurry, hurry. Plenty of time, and there's Smith. That pass has been there all night. Up to the 45-yard line, a 24-yard gain, and we have a marker, another late hit. And Michael Wright may be guilty again, number 20. Boy, we've had, that's three we've seen tonight. And when you're leading by 18 with 3.56 to play, you just yeah. can't do this. Very poor, very poor. There's Smith. There's Smith. Now let's see. He's out of bounds. And uh, well, oh, he threw him down. Oh, just uh, it would have been fine if he hadn't thrown yeah. him to the turf. Smith, a big night. Has the tight end. Seven catches, 115 yards. First and ten now for BYU. 356 left. That bad, though. Boys. To the 20 yard line. Roosevelt Noble, the right corner, made the stop. Another 19 yards. They got the ball with 403 left. There's 349 left now. Come down to the field in a hurry. Fred Whittingham tackled by Langwin at the 12 yard line. Now that Mariano Rivera's retired, the guys from Metallica don't have that much to do around here. Coach K's not interested in an entrance song either. Who's left? Uh, John Daly? You guys know this, this is for golf, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 Might take a while, but I'm sure those guys will find something to do. First lesson's free. Yeah, girl. You know, I've been thinking about us. And uh, I just can't fight it anymore. It's bundle time. Bundle. Mm, feel those savings, baby. And that's how a home and auto bundle is made. Better he learns it here than on the streets. That's progressive. We're together, even when we're apart. I'm connected to your voice, flowing to my heart. Out in the distance, I see you off somewhere. I'm heading your direction. I'll meet you halfway there. You're the one that I'm trying to reach. Meet the one you've been missing at the largest dating site for black singles. BlackPeopleMeet.com. Start today for free. Pay attention to see how you could get $1,000 in your bank account tomorrow. So I was having money issues and living paycheck to paycheck when the car I was using every day to get to work broke down. That's when I found WeFixMoney.com. WeFixMoney.com was quick and easy, and they got me $900 in my bank account the next day. They have a nationwide network of lenders who are available and willing to help people like you and me get cash fast. Use it for car repairs, unexpected bills, or to hold you over till your next payday. So if you're over 18 with a monthly income of at least $800, call or log on now to WeFixMoney.com and you can get up to $1,000 in your bank account in as little as 24 hours. It takes just two minutes to apply and costs you nothing. Customer service is available 24 hours a day. Trust me. Trust them. Log on to WeFixMoney.com. Call 877-76-WE-FIX or log on to WeFixMoney.com today. Welcome to College Game Day. There's 
What was a very exciting game has now become somewhat boring because of the penalties slowing the pace of the game and it's gotten somewhat sloppy here in the fourth quarter. Well that has been the sloppy part of the game mm -hmm. and penalties but you take that away it's been really well played this whole yes, game on both sides but that's a lot of penalties. And BYU goes backwards again. It's been holding for the majority of the trouble for BYU. 14 penalties now against them for 131 yards. Guy Gibbs must give us the official story. Downfield on the offense, five yards, and still second. That's the first ineligible receiver we've seen. And for a passing team like BYU, that shouldn't happen. Second down and eight. Probably going to have to put it up. Out here to Boyce. Oh, he's going back the other way. Odell to the six yard line. Clock ticks with 3 10 and counting. They'll stop it after the first down. The chains have to move. And then it'll start again. 488 yards in the air for Detmer tonight. Bellini, touchdown. Almost insurmountable. Almost. Arabidian could not keep up with Bellini again. They have worked on old Garabedian tonight. He's, he's had a tough time. But Bellini is some receiver. Here he is coming out of the backfield. Garabini's on him, but he cuts to the outside and turns Garabini around. Garabinian around and can't make the play. Garabinian, who they really like in pass coverage, they'd like to see him bulk up, couldn't get it done. They go for two. Nice play fake, picks it out to Lindenham. But Washington State's defense right there. Ledbetter, number 91. Diggs, number 22. Neither would have any of it. Detmer appears injured. Fake the jump, flipped it out. Detmer is injured. We'll check on him. They're carrying him now off the field. They're holding his shoulder. And a Washington State player is down as well. We'll check on their situations when we come back. Hey, Courtney Hansen here with you for Endurance. If you're like me, you love your car, but even the best vehicles break down at some point. And when your car's warranty expires, you're gonna have to pay those repairs out of pocket. Can you believe what it costs to repair your car these days? I mean, look at these prices. I can think of so many things I would rather buy than a new fuel injector or transmission. Well, Endurance has a solution. With an Endurance Vehicle Protection Plan, we pay for your auto repairs, the parts, the labor, all of it's covered. With Endurance, you'll save thousands and you get to choose the mechanic who repairs your car. Remember, insurance only covers you if you're in an accident, but that's just half the equation. Endurance is the other half, protecting you when your car breaks down. Insurance plus endurance equals total protection. That's my kind of math. Protect yourself against the high cost of auto repairs with Endurance. Call right now for a free quote. Oh, man. Mm, mm, mm. Don't look good. Yeah, it looks like it's both. Two tires. Shoot, that will set you back 400 Yeah, $400 I don't have. Just what I don't need. What up, Joe? Hey, Joe. You mean CashNetUSA.com, man. CashNetUSA. CashNetUSA.com, man. I believe this is what you do need. It's safe and simple. 
It says here you can complete the application in minutes. Um, I'll take it from here. Complete the application in minutes, and if approved, you may get the money you need as soon as tomorrow. Oh, cool. Uh, thanks, Cash... CashNetUSA.com. Man. Yeah. It's actually my cell phone. Okay. I need that okay, to make calls. Sure, no, I get it. Apply now at CashNetUSA.com slash TV and save 25% as a new customer with promo code TV257. Money's on the way with CashNet USA. Let's go, just use the gate. You won't judge. Saturday, top 20 teams highlight the action on the SEC Network. First, Matty Mock in a Shockwave through the SEC East. The number 14 Gamecocks head to Nashville to face Derek Mason's Commodores. Indiana, Missouri at 4. South Carolina, Vanderbilt at 7.30. Saturday on the SEC Network. If you're one of the millions who suffer from the agony of lower back pain, you need Be Active, the revolutionary new acupressure system that instantly helps ease discomfort in your lower back, buttocks, and legs. Watch. Slip on Be Active and tighten the strap. You'll instantly begin experiencing relief. Look, back pain often radiates from the lower back to your lower extremities, but apply Be Active to the trigger point on the calf muscle to instantly relieve pain. The secret is the AccuPoint pressure pad that gently compresses, alleviating pain to the sciatic nerve and lower back for instant relief. The Active provides firm pressure behind the knee on a specific pressure point, which can help relieve the pain and suffering from sciatica. Now, get Be Active for $19.99. Call now and double the offer free. Just pay separate processing and handling. If you don't like it, send it back and owe nothing. You get it all for $19.99. Call now. To order, call 1-800-503-4315. That's 1-800-503-4315. Or go online to beactivebrace.com. Call or click today. Washington State's lead now down to 12, and you know what's coming here. The onside kick. Got to do it. Look. Now, this is, again, what I was talking about earlier. Now, flags, inadvertent whistles, the game's pace being slowed down. And this was just an inadvertent whistle. No flag. Uncoordinated officials. They're just starting out, mm -hmm. too, trying to get coordinated. Chaffetz will kick it away. Let it roll. Did it go far enough? I think it did. I think BYU may have it. No, Washington State has it. Fuller came out with it. Troy Fuller came out with a football. Yeah, now they make them. Yeah. And, and the problems continue for the officials. At the 45-yard line, BYU keeps it. Troy Fuller recovered, number 42 in blue. Does he touch the ball right here? Yeah, they kick it over. It really didn't go the 10 yards. It's got to go 10 yards. I think it was an ankle of a player going yeah, down to the turf that hit it. A you player right here to touch the ball. Should have been dead right there. And uh, Washington should have had Washington State should have had the football. But BYU's got it, and they're at home. And here comes the blitz. Detmer it swings it out. Bellini fell to the turf. But again, nice coverage by Langwin and Diggs. He wouldn't have gotten far, even had he caught it. Well, that was Garabedian, and uh, he can run good. Mm -hmm. so it's good to see him do some things. He's had a tough time tonight against a great passing team, but he won't have one to have to cover any more better players than Bellini the rest of his uh, year. 258 left. Second and 10 BYU trailing by a dozen. Detmer gets out of trouble. And down he goes. He was trying to direct Chris Smith to the open field at midfield. But then Tim Downing, along with 94 Kirk Westerfield, were able to get to him. Third down, nine. And this is four down territory. Put it up. Whittingham. In position to pick it off a second time was Jay Langwin. And Detmer really was facing a lot of coverage there. He could not work a receiver free. Fourth down coming up. And for intents and purposes, for all intents and purposes, your ball game. They'll have to complete this pass. Well, he came out of his shoe. What a tremendous first half. And then to have a second half. 
that has been up and down and up and down. And Stacy Corley, the look on his face will certainly prove that point. Fourth and nine, 225 left from Pro Bowl. Detmer for Smith. Interference against Noble, number 37. Smith began lobbying for the call even before the ball hit the ground. Well, we'll see. He was going to Smith, number 94. Top of your screen, and Noble gets just gets turned around and loses the ball and then just backs into him. You'd have to say that was <laughs> pass interference. And Smith was right on top of it. The extra official there. Pass interference to the defensive team. 15 yard penalty. First down. When you're in that kind of a situation, Noble should have been way back and mm -hmm. reading, the, reading the football, but he got completely turned around. These are the kinds of things, though, that young secondaries have to learn. Washington State will probably not face, other than Bill Musgrave in the Pac-10, an offense that will throw the ball quite as much. The Pac-10 is basically a rushing conference now with Aikman, Pete, and their own Rosenbaum gone. First and ten with 2.18 to play. Detmer to Franzen. Out of bounds at the 22. Ron Ricard knocked him out of bounds after a 16 yard gain. Again, a quick program note Sports Center to follow immediately after our game here. And of course, the 10th anniversary special following that. 2 11 to play here in Provo. Tim Brando, Vince Dooley, 46 34, Washington State leading. It has been a track meet. And it's not over yet. Detmer for Bellini. Touchdown, BYU. What a receiver. Vincent may have taken you a couple of seasons to score as many points as we've seen tonight at Georgia. <laughs> I've been in a few of these contests. Maybe that Michigan State game you had at the Gator Bowl. Yeah. So, this Bellini is some receiver. In his record, he's got him beat. And uh, Dentner puts the ball right on the button, and we got a football game again. We got five points. Still two minutes left. And with 4:03 to play, we said almost, almost insurmountable. <laughs> Boy, I'm glad I said almost. <laughs> oh, they're loving it here in Provo. 64,000 plus on their feet. And this is supposed to be a sedate crowd. Not now. now. Let's watch the onside kick here. The timeouts remaining. Washington State with three, but they won't use them. BYU has two. That would be plenty. Yeah. That would be plenty with their offense. I remember Chaffetz just touched it and they formed sort of a convoy of three or four yeah. players around it really shielding Washington State from the ball and now BYU is forced to utilize one of its timeouts. Boy that's that's critical. I don't know if they did not have all their players on the field or if they had some difficulty there but even if they get the ball not having a timeout or an extra timeout could be devastating. Hear that? It's your comeback calling. It starts with cash in your account as soon as tomorrow. We're Rise, a better way to borrow the cash you need. We believe in rates that actually go down over time. 
We believe that's the chance you need to get ahead and stay ahead. Start your comeback today. Visit risecredit.com. Are you having problems with the IRS? Liens and levies, garnishments, seizures, penalties? Are you being audited? Our trained professionals at Wallen Associates can help. We've helped thousands of individuals and businesses solve their tax problems and save big money. Put a wall between you and the IRS. Wallen Associates has over 30 years of experience dealing with the IRS, and we can help your family or your business. Call 800-360-9336. We solve tax problems. This is a national health care alert from the Health Hotline. If you, a family member, or a loved one suffers from knee pain and have Medicare as your primary insurance, we've got great news. You could qualify for a pain-relieving knee brace at little or no cost to you. Get free delivery, and all the paperwork is handled by our accredited suppliers at no charge to you. If you are on Medicare and have knee pain, don't wait. You may qualify to immediately receive a pain-relieving brace at little or no cost. Friendly agents are standing by 24-7 to help you. Call the health hotline right now for details toll-free. Our friendly representatives are standing by now to take your call. We also have other pain-relieving braces available for shoulder, ankle, and your back. You may be eligible to receive these items and more at little or no cost to you as well. Call right now for details toll-free. Operators are standing by. Call 866-249-0627. That's 866-249-0627. Again, 866-249-0627. That's 866-249-0627. So we have a pretty intense fantasy football league. I think it'll be an offensive explosion, but I think more of it's going to belong to the last place. Gets a tattoo of the winner's choice. It's a horse with a horn, bro. <laughs> this league isn't about winning. It's about not losing. You need all the help you can get. Actives and inactives just started rolling in. What are you going, dude? I gotta change my lineup. I hit his laptop. <laughs> this is why I count on countdown. Because we will ruin your life. <laughs> Here's the year. In this league, you don't want to come in last, so you need a show you can count on. 46-41. In case you just joined us, you missed a lot. <laughs> but we've got a lot remaining. 2:02 to play from Cougar Stadium in Provo, Utah. Mark Ledbetter hopes that it's enough. But, but Bellini and Matt Odell, they've got other ideas. Well, they're going to execute what is sometimes known as the watermelon kick. Yeah, which was the one that uh, was done right here. Here's what we're talking about. Watch the ankle touch just before, right, right there, by Chaffetz. 16 hit it, and then the lineman hit it. Washington State should have had the football, but BYU made use of their break. Well, by this the is touchdown. something that the Rules Committee ought to address because this kind of kick, to me, uh, has put some people in a mm -hmm. position of getting injured, as you can see so many of them coming down the field. Same thing. Yep. Look out. BYU's got it. No, no, Washington State has it. Well, we've got some quick, quick officials tonight. They're going to have to dig them out. They're going to have to dig them out and unpile them. Mike Price is having to get his entire team off the field. Somebody's down there under the pile with the football. ESPN had years of rugby and scrums in Australian rules football Washington State <laughs> with its imitation of it may have possession of the ball here number 28 is Anthony Pryor a reserve defensive back and apparently he came up with it no now Chaffetz is saying BYU's got it let's see who's got it officials time up Whoop. yep it does go to Washington State Well, here it is. This is what's known as a watermelon kick, and I really don't don't like it. It comes in close, and they are, <laughs> you've got an opportunity for some injuries that, in this kind of a situation. 
more so than just a normal onside kick. Something that the Ruse committee to me ought to address. Mm -hmm. Washington State has the ball, and remember, BYU used one of their timeouts. So Washington State can really run the clock out. BYU needs a turnover now. They only have one TO remaining. Broussard stays in bounds at the 38 yard line. Bob Davis, who's been everywhere tonight, made the stop. The middle linebacker, number 36. In a game where a lot of points have been given up, he has played very well. Pickup of seven, second and three coming up. And the clock ticks with one and a half left. Sports Center is next, the 10th anniversary show to follow. Broussard cuts back but runs into Orr. And tonight's Visa players of the game from the University of Washington State and BYU. Here is Bob Davis, the linebacker who had a brilliant game tonight. And for Brigham Young, or I should say for Washington State, Brad Gossin, the quarterback. Boy, and the heels of Tim Rosenbaugh's career. He has played very well in his first two victories, one against Idaho at home and now here. Swinton close to the first down inside the 35 at the 34. Chad Robinson made the tackle. We're down to 30 seconds now. You might mention Hanson as uh, oh. as an alternate player, the game, <laughs> as a kicker. He had a brilliant game himself. And and the kicks really came at critical times. But I I point back to Gosson simply because we've heard so much about Detmer. Gosson coming into the season not really a commodity, a known commodity, but he's known now. Well, they say he's not sensational. In fact, they call him the most. Uh, impressive, unimpressive quarterback that he's ever seen. I asked Coach Price, what do you mean by that? He said, well, he throws wobbly passes and he doesn't look mm -hmm. very good, but he wins. He gets things done. He's consistent. Mm -hmm. And uh, the night was a good example. 14 for 27, 317 yards, two touchdowns and an interception. Last week in a conversation with his coach, Mike Price told Gosson to look off the free safety, really zip the pass to the sideline, really pin the receiver. And very quickly, the quarterback, Gosson, looked right back at the coach and said, hey, don't you know the media says I don't have a very strong arm? I can't do that. <laughs> and now he's looking to become only the third Washington State player to move on and have this kind of success as a head football coach in Pullman. Well, that gives you an example of how he handles himself so well with a lot of poise and patience and confidence. They made the first down, and this should be it. Stallworth and Davis now exchanging elbows as time runs almost out. BYU does have the one timeout remaining, and apparently they have exercised that option. Well, Vince, you and I will head off to Colorado Springs. We'll have Air Force in Wyoming on Sunday. Should be an interesting game, and don't forget Saturday. Big Ten action, Miami of Ohio taking on Purdue. It all begins with college game day. Bob Carpenter, Bino Cook, and Lee Corso. And then the Big Ten game to follow with Wayne Larravee and Stan White from Purdue in West Lafayette. And then at 7.30, Ron Franklin and Kevin Kiley bring you Clemson and Florida State. Could we have 10 seconds on the clock, please? We need 10 more seconds on the clock. According to Guy Gibbs. Well, we've seen a lot of mistakes. You see that in September from all three teams. I don't know that I've seen so many penalties, though, that really affected a football game like this one. Washington State, BYU, and the officials have made their shit tonight. <laughs> but it's early. Again, down to the knee. And that will do it. Washington State comes in here and wins for the first time 
in a while, evening the series at one game apiece, 46-41 the final. For Vince Dooley, I'm Tim Brando, saying so long from Provo. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for your attendance. Remember once again.